So I'm completely unashamed to admit that I'm a fully grown man that still to this day loves building and playing with Legos. So when I saw that Nate from the internet was recreating a Lego castle set from his childhood at 20 times the original scale, I knew that I needed to see what kind of Lego project could I scale up and get 3D printed here for my studio. Well, maybe not taking up the entire studio space like Nate is with that massive project. And when thinking about this, I wanted to find a Lego project that I could make super size that would be you know, instantly recognizable that a lot of you probably have played around with as well. And what immediately came to mind is the Lego brick separator. And if by chance you're not familiar with this amazing bright orange little tool, this is a device that Lego started including in some of their sets, I think about 10 to 15 years ago. And it more or less allows you to easily separate different bricks that might be a little bit difficult to remove versus the traditional way that I've always removed stuck bricks, which is with my teeth. And it just so happens that there are a few digital versions of the Lego brick separator that we can choose from to try and get 3D printed. So once we've downloaded the Lego brick separator and bring it into our slicer, here we can see it at the default scale, which is the original size that should match a one-to-one -one version of the original Lego brick separator. Now, what I've done here is on the Elegoo Centauri Carbon, which has a 256 by 256 by 256, 56 build volume, I've now maxed this out to be as large as I can physically print it here on the Centauri Carbon. And this is only 4.8 times the original scale of that Lego brick separator, and it's still gonna be fairly large. But before I print this stupidly large, I wanted to run a few quick tests at this larger size, printing this with fuzzy skin enabled and disabled. I'll link to Slant3D's video where I originally saw this, where he talked about how they're using fuzzy skin and applying that to a lot of the models that they're 3D printing and selling to help hide the layer lines. So I've also enabled that here and going with the basic setting of the contour and the fuzzy skin point distance of 0.2 and a fuzzy skin thickness of 0.1. Now, this is, by enabling this, going to increase your print time ever so slightly, so just be aware of that. But the end results should look pretty impressive. So let's get this sent over to the 3D printers and check out the results. And while this is printing, I want to say a big thank you to Elgu for sponsoring today's video. They are running a huge contest where you can win not only some amazing 3D printers, but also some cold, hard cash. There are two different ways that you can enter in this contest. The first is by submitting a 2D design of what you think represents Elegoo and their brand and 3D printers. And the second is by designing and submitting a 3D model. Now make sure that you tag Elegoo online with any of your submissions to enter in the contest and you'll find more details about that link down below. And obviously you'll have more information here about the Elegoo Centauri Carbon as well as the massive Elegoo Orange Storm Giga that we're gonna be printing a huge version of this Lego brick separate. And again, a huge thank you to Elegoo for sponsoring today's video. And here are the results of our two initial prints here. And again, these at 4.8 times the original size is still fairly large. This is just over, I think it's about 14 inches long. And as you can see here, just as a comparison between the original Lego brick separator and the ones that we printed, it's a very awesome display piece that you could have on your desk or in your own little shop here. So if you wanted to print one of these for yourself, I'll have the file linked down below. But obviously I'm looking looking at printing this a lot larger. But before I do that, again, I wanted to take a look at if I wanted to print this with the fuzzy skin enabled. Now, again, this is gonna drastically, in some cases, increase your print time, especially as you're scaling up your projects. So this original one here that did not have fuzzy skin enabled, this was a six and a half hour print, and this one with it enabled was three hours longer to print to add that extra texture detail on the sides, and I honestly think it it looks that much better and it feels so much better to touch, but it really does a good job of helping hide the layer lines on any of the sides where you typically would see the layer buildup of your 3D prints. Also, I forgot to mention that Elegoo's Orange Rapid PLA Plus is like the perfect color match for this project. I was so excited to see that this color fits so closely to the original design piece. Now, this is a really awesome, large larger version of the Lego brick separator, but again, I wanna print this 
super sized. So thankfully I have access to this huge 3D printer from Elegoo. This is the Orange Storm Giga. It has a build volume of 800 by 800 by 1000 millimeters high. So I should be able to really scale this up to be again, super sized. So let's jump on the computer and see exactly how big we can take this. Now again, here in our slicer is the original size of our Lego brick separator. And then here it is scaled up to that four point eight times, which I've already printed on the Centauri Carbon. And here you can see in the comparison to the build plate, this massive build plate of the Orange Storm Giga. Now, if we come over here, <laughs> This is where things just get comically large. So here we're taking a look at this is it scaled up to 16.4 times the original size. This is absolutely enormous. This is going to end up being just about four feet long. Now, what's even crazier than that is here is the same exact Lego brick separator, but scaled up to 20 times the original size. And again, this is what Nate from the internet would need for his. And I can't even fit this on the build plate of the Orange Storm Giga. It's so large. This would be almost five feet long. And of course, right off the bat, this had to run into some challenges and the support started to lift off the build plate. So I quickly grabbed some duct tape and started taping them in place. And sure enough, that helped keep everything moving along for this massive 3D print. I'm also printing this at a 0.42 layer height with a 0.6 millimeter nozzle. So it should be a little bit chonkier than our standard print that we ran on the Centauri Carbon. But this also means that it's going to be eating through filament really fast. So basically every single day I have to come in in and make sure I swap out the filament. Now the Orange Storm Giga does have a filament runout sensor that I am running the filament through. However, from my experience, I try to manually swap out the filament before it runs out. This helps reduce any kind of layer shifting that I might run into when it actually runs out of filament using that filament runout sensor. The other crazy thing about this project is after four days of printing, I have one day left and I have to go to Rapid TCT to check out all the newest things when it comes to 3D printers. So I'm here at 5 a.m. in the morning loading up some filament to get this up and running for this last day of printing. And it finished after 125 hours or just about five and a half days of 3D printing and five rolls of filament. It has finally finished and it looks incredible. Let's get it off the build plate. Oh, it's, it's already, it's already free. Oh my goodness. The supports are already coming off. It weighs so much. That broke off much easier than I was anticipating. These supports came off so cleanly here and they're just super chunky. They almost look like flames, which is really kind of cool. How huge is this thing? This is four feet long of 3D printed awesomeness. I mean, look at this compared to the original Lego brick separator. It's like insane how much larger this one is. We can also definitely see where some of those supports on the little underside here where they were not connecting properly, but in general, it still turned out on the uh, exterior, uh, just I mean, incredible. I'm really happy that I went with the fuzzy skin on this as well. If anything, the only regret that I have is that I didn't increase those settings ever so slightly to give it even more texture because of just how large this thing is. And to make sure that this functionally works, let's 3D print some massive Lego bricks and see if we can get them separated. Okay, we definitely had some mixed results here when trying to print some of these, this is, these aren't even full bricks. They're just like the, the two by two brick tops, the little flat pieces there that we can use. This is the first attempt and it was printing semi good and then just randomly split down the center and then along the top, no idea. Like I have never seen this before where it has just the top surface finish ended up like this. It was the most random thing ever. So I ended up re-slicing everything and reprinting with some blue Elegoo Rapid PLA. And yeah, this one turned out absolutely perfect. So yeah, it goes to show no idea what the heck happened with this one, but this one turned out great. Just some wonky things that you might see when scaling things up super size. But that's not even the craziest one. Look at this red Lego brick that I printed off of the Giga. Now in order to try and prevent from 
using an absolute in, insane amount of filament. This was two, I think two and a half rolls of red rapid PLA. Uh, I ended up slicing off the top so that I could print it flat on the upside down here uh, so that I didn't use supports and I was just gonna gloop it together. However, everything just kind of warped on the ends there on this, the, the brick bottom just warped incredibly awkward there. And then the flat part again, warped sort of in the middle where it lifted up and the sides went down. Again, I'm not super versed in printing things exceptionally large and flat, so I probably should have used some kind of better bed adhesion material to keep everything flat and secured, especially since there's no enclosure or anything like this on the Giga. But I've got more or less a massively large Lego brick that's at the same 16.4 scale that we printed in the Lego brick separator. All right, so since this side seems to be a little less warped than this side, we're gonna try and work with this one over here. Uh, I don't know what this is. I was expecting the tolerances to be a lot easier here since this was so scaled up. I might need a mallet. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's on there pretty good. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that off. All right, that's that's pretty secured on there. So let's let's test this out with the separator. All right, this is so large that I'm not even quite sure how we're gonna go about this. So let's try to... It worked! <laughs> that worked so much better than I was thinking it would. This does a really good job of getting that off. Let's uh, let's go from the side here, maybe. See if there's any... Pulls it right off. That is friggin' cool. And again, if you want to 3D print one of these for yourself, I'll have links to the files down below, whether it's the you know slightly larger version or a mega sized version, you can find those down below. Uh, I also want to say again, a big thank you to Nate from the internet for inspiring me to kind of go off and do something absolutely insane here. The next thing I want to do with this is try to design a Lego brick that I can have that's sort of angled, that I can have potentially nestled in here, or I can have this wall mounted on my wall somewhere here in the studio. If you have any ideas or suggestions, let me know in the comments down below on how I could go about doing that or getting this on display here. But I want to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support. If you're interested in things like the 3D printer settings that I use for my Orange Storm Giga or my other 3D printers, you can find those over in my Patreon. And I just, again, wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know again what you think of this massively large Lego brick separator and make sure you're following because I'll be posting some updates once I get this hung up. Hey, thanks so much for watching y'all and I'll see you next time. Bye now.